As compared to other cloud providers, AWS is lagging behind when it comes to generative AI. That is why AWS is trying to shake hand with a lot of other big players in the industry to gain some mileage when it comes to Gen AI. We all know that AI adoption is surging. Almost all of the business leaders are agreeing that data helps reduce uncertainty and make more accurate decisions and AI will be the market leader very soon. They also agree that AI is a future and an enabler. With this new integrations, which are offered by a lot of other cloud companies, companies can power their AI applications with their own models, both from open source and proprietary. That is where AWS and the data cloud service of Salesforce is trying to gain some market share. What is happening is that AWS will be offering bring your own language model, which primarily means that customers can easily and seamlessly unite all of their data across Salesforce and AWS for better, faster insights, predictions, and much more from their existing data processing pipelines from data cloud. They can also take advantage of zero ETL processes and then integrate easily with the AWS services. Services like AWS Redshift, which is a data warehouse, managed data warehouse, and Amazon Data Lakes natively integrate with data, cl uh, data cloud. Now, this will be further integrated with AWS SageMaker, which is a machine learning platform of AWS. The biggest innovation which will happen with Salesforce and AWS integration is that is of Amazon Bedrock, which is still in private preview, but it allows API access to a lot of proprietary models. With the help of Bedrock, now customers can bring LLMs or large language models they have hosted in Amazon Bedrock to power generative apps in Salesforce while maintaining their security and data compliance requirements. The companies will also integrate Amazon Bedrock with Salesforce Einstein Trust Layer, allowing Salesforce customers to securely use their CRM data to fine-tune LLMs from Amazon or other AI providers like Anthropic, Cohere, AI21 Labs, and Stability AI. And also, they can use them across the Salesforce platform. It's a huge news. I will drop the link of this press release from Salesforce in video's description so that you can read further. I hope that you liked it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.